Assalam alaikum my name is Dr Khan and today I want to discuss with you the classification of medically important bacteria now we have got different bases on which we can classify the bacteria which includes the cell wall mode of living gram staining and the shape of the bacteria on the basis of cell wall bacteria may be rigid walled thin or flexible walled and the wall-less bacteria on the basis of mode of living bacteria can be divided into free living or extracellular and non free living are the intracellular variety now the staining divides bacteria into gram positive gram negative and acid fast groups on the basis of shape bacteria can simply be cocci and bacilli now my classification of bacteria when include all these four bases first of all on the basis of cell wall bacteria can be of three types wall-less bacteria which includes the mycoplasma species also it includes the ureoplasma species the thin or flexible wall bacteria includes the spirochid species the treponema leptospira and the borrelia the third group that is the rigid wall bacteria is a large group so needs a second basis of classification that is the free living or extracellular bacteria and the non free living or intracellular bacteria the non free living includes chlamydia and rickettsial species and the free living again is a large group so is divided on the third basis that is the staining into gram positive gram negative and the acid fast bacteria the acid fast bacteria includes the mycobacterium species like the mycobacterium tuberculosis mycobacterium lepre and mycobacterium avium intracellulare etc the gram positive and gram negative are large groups and divided on the basis of shape into cocci and bacilli first of all the gram positive cocci it includes the streptococcal and the staphylococcal species gram positive bacilli includes bacillus clostridium and the corani bacterium species gram negative cocci includes the neisseria gonorrhea and the neisseria meningitis the cause of gonorrhea and meningitis respectively now the gram negative bacilli is a large group so we divide it into respiratory zoonotic and enteric group depending upon where they cause infection and by which way they cause infection so the respiratory group it includes the h influenza brodatella paratasis and listeria and can easily be memorized by the mnemonic hbl like the habib bank limited the largest bank of the pakistan the second type zoonotic group it includes pasturella frenchella brucella and yersinia the enteric group can be divided into curved and straight types the curved includes h pylori campylobacter and vibrio cholera the second group the straight type it can be easily memorized by the mnemonic keeps now it is a modified definition of keeps and includes 1k 2e's 2p's and 3 times s and the species are the klebsiella e coli enterobacter proteus pseudomonas salmonella shigella and the seracea thanks for watching if you find my video useful please let me know in the comment section